shortly. But I want us to quickly add this and do just about two minutes each uh, from you. But, uh, you know, um, uh, Fenyo can give us about sure. three or so minutes on it because he was part of this case. And it is the matter that appeared before the Supreme Court in the matter of the Republic versus High Court Winneba, ex party University Teachers Association of Ghana, Winneba chapter, Kofisupi Kwaira. Uh, whom uh, Afinio Marking has been representing, or his firm has been representing, University of Education Winneba, interested party, uh, Minister of Education, interested party. And uh, the judges who sat on the matter, one, two, three, four, five, all came to a unanimous decision of overturning the Winneba High Court's um, decision um, in which Professor Voka was involved. And Professor Voka is a pro um, former vice chancellor of the University of Education, Winneba. And in the conclusion of the judgment, the judges said, before we rest this delivery, we noticed among the processes filed before us a letter from the new chairman of the governing council of the University of Education, Winneba, announcing its due constitution in accordance with the provisions of Act 672. Since this case is about the governance of the university, we say for the avoidance of doubt that our decision does not affect, quote, does not affect whatever the newly constituted governing council has done. So the reason there's been some confusion is that the moment this judgment was delivered, there was a text message or a message running wild on social media. And the message was to the effect that the Supreme Court has given a decision that, as it were, re uh, leads to um, a reinstatement of Professor Avoke as a vice chancellor of the University of Education, Winneba. So, we are, we are told by people like yourself, uh, Afeño, that that was a complete misrepresentation. In some two, three minutes, can you sum up well, why uh, this is the case? Something. Mm. Once again, I will repeat what I've been saying. Mm. When there's a matter and we want to be political or partisan, we will never get solution. Okay. When there's a matter and we want to be ethnocentric, we will never get solution. Okay. If we focus on the real issues and look for legal solutions, that would be lasting and it will help. I'm sure that issues about UEW and my involvement date way back 2013. Okay. I have filed questions on the floor of the House and it was through my intervention that a new governing council was reconstituted in 2015. It was done the very day Professor Nana Opokwajiman was coming to answer the question. I have never been personal. I've dealt with the issues, and I'll continue to deal with the issues. Um, the Supreme Court has not ordered anybody to be reinstated. The Supreme Court made a determination on, on an unexecuted order or on an unexecuted judgment. Per its findings, it held that although it was a default judgment, the nature of the reliefs being declaratory, the plaintiff applicant should have been ordered to either make a legal argument or enter into the witness box, make a viva voce, you know, uh, viva voce means oral, oral yeah. evidence. Yeah. Then the court could make a de determination. The effect of it is that we are going back to the high court to continue where we left off. Okay. Nothing changes. The court has made a pronouncement on the conduct of the governing council. And the court has upheld governing council decisions and says that, look, this does not. And the court had good reasons for saying that for the avoidance of doubt. Mm. We are stating this. Now, it is important to... Okay, so the court has not upheld decisions. It has only said that what it did 
does not affect, affect. Let anything me, that let the government put it, Don't, done. don't let me okay. put words in the mouth. Okay. I appreciate. Mm. I mean, if I'm quoting verbatim. Okay. But I'm saying that if the court is, is put on judicial notice, mm. if somebody comes to court and decides to bring everything to the attention of the court and ask for reliefs, that would include he being reinstated. And the court, notwithstanding, limits itself on, on its decision and does not extend consequential matters or orders. Mm. It, it has its own effect. Okay. Now, it is important also to let the public know mm. that on the 20th of September, 2018, the affected parties in the Governing Council decision had mounted an action at the Labour Division of the High Court Accra okay. through an originating summons. And when it was heard and determined, the effect was a dismissal of the action on grounds of jurisdiction. To date, the affected parties have not appealed it. Was it on grounds of jurisdiction or by the fact that they came ex parte and they shouldn't have? No, I'm dealing with the the the, the okay. fundamental one. Okay. The the okay. court made two observations. Okay. And I would want to read at page nine. Okay. Quote. I have looked at the real issues, and I'm of the view that the real issues are between the applicant and the first, second, and third respondent. The other respondents are only nominal respondent, for which reason I will hold that this court lacks jurisdiction. The suit should be commenced in the central region where the administrative decisions complained about were taken, okay. and where the real defendants reside. Okay, I so am this saying, is the basis they threw them out. Exactly. Okay. I'm saying for the record and mm -hmm. for the whole world to know okay. that today is, uh, is it 3rd or 4th October? 3rd. 3rd October. The, November. Uh, November. Mm -hmm. The affected parties or the applicant plaintiffs in this matter have neither appealed this decision. Okay. They have not also applied to the Supreme Court to quash this for whatever reason, or they have not started have a new they re instituted case. Mm. an action challenging their dismissal. Mm. I am saying that for the record. Okay. This is not coming from my head. Right. Now, okay. on the aspect oh, of the oh, 20th September. This year? Yes, so 2018. That's, that's like mm. six weeks ago. 20th September. That's like six weeks ago. Mm. Mm. Now, on the issue of the ex parte application, which was aimed at Stopping an injunction in terror. Yeah, yeah, stopping the investiture. This is what the court said. When counsel moved the motion, I questioned the propriety of bringing it ex parte. I wondered if the applicant had been conscientious. Counsel's response was that there was limited time. He succeeded in persuading the court that the fact that the correspondence to the applicant to vacate official residence is dated August 15, 2018, does not mean that does not mean that that was the, the date the letters were delivered. Mm. Council has subsequently delivered to the court the letters of dismissal and vacation of the official bungalows, but not the date of receipt of the letters. Council also submitted a WhatsApp message. The WhatsApp message to the applicant had provided early notice to them of the decision taken against them to vacate the bang bungalows. This application, this expert application, in my opinion, is an abuse of the process. Okay. The application should be on notice. Okay. And I'm saying that they have not done anything. Now, okay. to conclude, without more, mm. none of us here, lawyer, social commentator, a judge, can ever be perfect on the law. If you read a lot of judgment, a court of appeal judge, maybe sitting as an additional high court judge, may come to a conclusion, his own colleagues may overturn it. A Supreme Court, differently constituted, may come to a conclusion on a matter. And those who frequent the Supreme Court, my very respected senior, will tell you that at a point such as right, we were told, per the Supreme Court rules, 90 days, if you don't come, over. It got to a point, the same court said, look, it doesn't matter. Even if it is over, about, out of time, leave will be granted for you to okay. be in right. order. Okay. So the laws develop mm. and we will continue to cherish it. Right. And it is not in our powers okay. as so, litigants right. or lawyers mm. to be issuing ethnocentric comment when we lose 
And okay. when we win, we praise the court. Okay. It's not for us to issue statement mm. purporting it to be the decision of the court. Okay. And when we are being questioned, we run away and deny. That okay. is unfair. Right. Bad faith. So some will say that is shade. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, here it is. Um, Okay, non, non, non. Oh, let me, let me no, get. No, no. Oh, sorry, Rami sorry. Well, so we don't have time. We don't have time. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this quickly. Okay, so Randy, can I get just two minutes or less on what you think had transpired? Well, um, okay, yes. <laughs> well, I, I think that, you know, okay. Alex has been on this issue for, for a long time. First on your platform. Yes, mm -hmm. from 2013 or so. It's oh, been on the, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been on this issue for a very long time. Uh, just two observations. One, uh, I don't think that um, six weeks, with respect to the case, case at the Labour Division yeah, of the High yeah. Court, I mean, 20th September judgment, mm -hmm. even six weeks, you've not seen any mm -hmm. uh, application. I don't think it's a big deal, right. really. I don't think it's a big deal. Six well, weeks. I'm not saying so. Yeah, six weeks is really no. So it's not as if they've abandoned it or so they, 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 they don't intend doing anything. Yeah. You know, but because when you, when, when the, the impression I got. And, and again, again, the outcome in that uh, suit is simply that you came to Accra, yes. go to Winneba. Go to, yes, go to Central Region. Yo, so you can start again. Yes. The judges went ahead region. and gave them free advice. It didn't look at the merits. Okay. It didn't pronounce on okay, it. Yeah. And six weeks really, mm. I mean, you three are lawyers. Yes, okay. I mean, six weeks really, I don't yes. think is a... But, but you agree that the message that was going around was misleading as to the judgment the Supreme Court You mean Court the Supreme Court, Court one? Yes. Yes. Mm. And, 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 and I think that the first, there was something attributed to Raymond Dr. Raymond right. to right. And it turned out that he didn't... There's a disclaimer. Mm. Yes. Some, don't, that some don't believe in that mm. disclaimer. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mm. I mean, at least... I see a disclaimer. I mean, because that that that, that's, that one. yes, <laughs> because <laughs> that that thing refers to his letter and yeah. public notice yeah. to the president, cautioning the president not to go and inaugurate the new council, yes. uh, the new vice chancellor. That's the first letter. Yes. yes. So there's a reference to that yeah. in that. Yeah. That's and the first letter. In, yeah. So that he owned up to. Mm. You know, but in this town, <laughs> people are mischievous. People can do all manner of things. Okay. Yeah. So Honestly, we should move on. I I. I, my interest in this whole matter mm. will be that justice is done. Mm. I mean, we're all beginning to appreciate the law even okay. further and all that. Yeah. I, knowing uh, Dr. Tuguba, I don't see how he can reduce himself to that level of going. I mean, for how long were you going to, was that story going to leave anyway? Okay. Why would he attach his reputation mm. to something that was going to die in the next few minutes? Mm. I mean, but, but it led all media houses, mm. I mean, I can say all media houses yeah. to telling the story according to that message. Yes. So that was bad. And I'm sure that was the interest mm. of, on, of whoever did it. Okay. But you see, on, <laughs> this, on, this, on this issue of the Supreme Court's ruling, mm. I got the impression that the Supreme Court is saying that the High Court overlooked a fundamental principle of law. Principle of law. Yeah. And I found that quite disturbing. And I'm saying so because, you know, the Chief Justice... Um, in, uh, I think it was around, on the 4th of October, when she was addressing the Association of mm, Magistrates and Judges. I mean, she said something. She said that um, it was unacceptable for judges to deliver judgments exceeding their jurisdiction and also not found in law. And he said such level of incompetence made the judiciary a laughing stock in our society. You know, and for a layman, I mean, I read this thing, and the impression I get is that the, 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 the Supreme Court judges are saying that, look, this is so fundamental, it's basic. You should not have overlooked it. I mean, you shouldn't have done what you did. It's so basic. Okay. So I ask myself, <clears throat> why will a judge ignore such something which is that basic? Okay. Thank you. Exactly. Thank you, Randy. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, um, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Now, 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 Martin, Martin there, there, are those, there are those who share the view that... <laughs> Who shared the view that even though the Supreme Court may have been categorical in the manner they did, mm -hmm. in the disclaimer they post mm -hmm. at the end, mm -hmm. the, the removal of Avoke and the, and the others, mm -hmm. how did it originate? Mm -hmm. It originates from this same uh, process in the Winneba High Court, yes. where eventually mm -hmm. they were asked to step aside. step aside. And then the council now took a decision. Yeah. But the decision was informed by the High Court. 
process. Mm -hmm. Martin, uh, yeah. Marking disagrees. Exactly. But what do you say? Yeah, to be, uh, well, it's quite a difficult uh, uh, question, considering that, um, you know, I'm not canceling the matter. I'm, okay. not, I'm not that close to it. So right. I said, when I was looking, I was like, hey, this thing. Because, so, reading in the media, what I make of it is that, yes, so there was a first action, which was based on uh, procurement breaches. Yes. So then, uh, but that uh, advocate applied to the Supreme Court, right. and then that decision was thrown out. Yes. That uh, the case was not well made out. Then the second case, which for which the ruling came in uh, three days ago. But this uh, second case, Avoke was not originally a party in the high court. But because the court, uh, by the rules, the law allows that when it comes to uh, prerogative rates, you, uh, somebody who is not an original party, if he sees something wrong, he can apply. So he can take the decision that, oh, I've come across this high court decision. It flies in the face of the law. An error patent on the face of the record. That's quite a high threshold. Right. But if he meets it, even though he wasn't a party to the case that was in the high court, mm. he's allowed to apply to the Supreme Court to have that decision quashed. Mm. And so this is what has happened in this case. He wasn't a party, but he went to the Supreme Court and got it quashed. So now, then that means that um, that judgment that was given against the Minister of Education and Attorney General has been thrown out. But then the question that baffles me and I can't answer is that to the extent that he also went to the High Court to challenge his dismissal, but that was thrown out, then it means that he didn't find that these processes, the Supreme Court decisions, were enough to send him back into office. That's the difficulty I okay. have. Yes, because okay. if you really thought the Supreme Court decisions were sufficient to take him into office, the mm. question is then, why was he suing in the, in the high court, court, the labor court, the one that... And seeking to stop the investiture of the new vice chancellor. Exactly. Which so was also thrown away. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So that, that side is very difficult. So because okay. I'm not a lawyer in the case, I have to leave it at that. Those mm. are questions okay. for all of but us. But would you say that the court was fair when they said, we have come ex parte? Ex parte mm -hmm. simply means that mm -hmm. you have come without the other side, mm -hmm. yes. on the blind side of the other party. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And ex parte is allowed in our court so that mm -hmm. situations that are urgent, mm -hmm. you can address them without things going bad. Mm -hmm. Do you think it was fair for the court to ask them to go and bring mm -hmm. University of Education into the matter before they will be heard? Mm -hmm. Because that's why they threw them out in the injunction application yeah. when we were trying to stop the, yeah, the, the investiture. Yeah. Yeah, that's a difficult one again, Sam. So no, there's, there's a judicial okay. pronouncement so, on it. Okay. Yes. I want to so let me. The court said that when they filed the ex-party, mm. the day that out. they were supposed to exactly. move, which yeah. would have been three clear days ahead of time, yeah. for which reason yeah. they would have argued bona fide, yeah. they did not follow up. They yeah. did not do it. Yeah. Okay. They rather chose the very day. Because if you file an ex parte, you are in control of your process. Right. If in the morning I go and do ex parte, I, pre I want to move it that same day right. or in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. If you go and do ex parte, mm -hmm. you don't. Three days after, you go and file another on notice. Then you choose another day. Mm -hmm. Then your lawyer, instead of going to court, issues an ethnocentric comment and purport to be okay. stopping the okay. president. Okay, thank you, thank no, you. No, 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 that you. one is not Okay, let's, let's go there again. Let's not go no, there No, no, that again. one is thank not you, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so... We're taking a break here. Kweku uh, generously says we should proceed and go on a break and return to look at Kwesi Nyantechi uh, receiving a lifetime ban. He says he will appeal it from FIFA uh, for acts of uh, corruption, bribery, and conflict of interest and breaching the ethical code of FIFA. And then also being slapped with a hefty 2.4 million Ghana CDs fine. We'll come back to look at that. But um, let me state this quickly. And I've seen your messages. Um, the, this case that was just discussed, originally from the Winneba High Court, my firm was part of it. Uh, for those of you who think I should use this platform to argue my cases, I'm sorry. That's not what I do. Uh, thank you very much. We'll be right back. <laughs> 